Hey, this is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back. In today's session, we will be looking at different options while uploading a document into Canvas. While we're looking at different options, we will also look at different ways of previewing your document. I will be uploading a PowerPoint, a Word, and a PDF so you can see exactly how each kind of document looks inside your page. So without a further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, this channel is all about educational tools, tips, and technology. So if you don't want to miss out on all the fun, please make sure you subscribe. Here I am on my Canvas page. The first thing I'm going to do is click on Edit. That brings me to the editing page. And here, when I hover over this little square, this is a document uploading icon. So let me click on this little arrow. And here it gives me all three different options. One is upload document, which is the very common one where you click and upload from your computer or whatever device you're on. The next one is course documents. These are all the files that you have uploaded into your course. This could be a PowerPoint, PDF, image, media, or a Word document. The other one is user documents. This user documents are very personal to the Canvas user. This could be a profile picture all, or your assignment submissions or any files that you have uploaded into your personal Canvas storage space. Now let's go ahead, click on upload document and scroll down and I'm going to upload this PDF document, which is graphs. And I'm going to click submit. And I'm going to wait for a second for it to upload. And once this has been uploaded, I'm going to click enter. I'm going to go back to this little document icon, click on course documents. And as you can see, this window pops up here. I have an option to pick from all the documents that I have uploaded into this particular course. Now I can sort the documents based on the date or the alphabetical order. I can even look for images or the media files that I have uploaded into this course. Now, let me go ahead and click on documents here. I picked a PDF. Now, let me go ahead and pick a PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to pick this one and I'm going to click enter. Now, let me go back to my user documents. You can go back to user documents from right here. As you can see, course files, user files, the same technique applies here as well. You can search your documents based on the date or alphabetical order, or you can even look for your images or your media files. But I'm gonna go ahead and look for my documents. I've uploaded a PDF, a PowerPoint. Let me look for a Word document. Hopefully I'll have one. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one, why not? And I'm going to click enter. Let me close this. And now once your documents have been uploaded, when you click on the link and click on link options, here you have different display options. Let's go ahead and disable the preview. Click done. Let me go back to the next one. Link options, disable preview, done. Go back, link options, disable preview, and done. And I'm going to go ahead and save this. I wanna show you what this does when you're looking at it from a student perspective. Now that the files have been uploaded and saved, let's go ahead and click on student view. And now let's take a look from a student perspective. As you can see, this is what the file looks like. I do not have a preview of my file. Now, as a student, I might want to decide if I want to download the file or no. Having a preview is always helpful because we have disabled the preview. If I click on any one of the document, as you can see, it doesn't give me the preview. It automatically downloads it for me. And that's not a good option. I definitely want to see it. So let me leave the student view, go back to edit, and let me click on each of these link options and I'm going to preview in overlay. So I'm gonna go back here, link, preview in overlay, link, options, preview in overlay, and I'm gonna go back and save this. And now I'm gonna click on student view, and let's go ahead and preview the first one. So when I click on it, as you can see, it does not automatically download. It gives me the preview of my PDF and it also gives me an option to download right here. Now it's a 19 page PDF. Maybe I do not want to download this one. I just want to read it from right here. And once I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and close it. Let's go back to the PowerPoint. Let me click on it. It's taken a minute. And here is my PowerPoint preview or overlay. 
this is 103 page long PowerPoint. Maybe I do not want to download such a big file, right? I'm just going to take a look at it from right here. Once I'm done, I'm going to close it. Now let's take a look at the Word document. And as you can see, this is my Word document. Maybe I just want to read it from right here. I do have an option to zoom in. I do have an option to make it full screen. I can scroll from one page to the other, flip the document. So you have all these different options right here. And I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to close once I'm done. Now let's go back to edit, click on the link, link options, and let's make sure we do preview in line. I'm not going to click this option because I'm going to show you why. Let's go back to the next one, link options, preview in line. I'm not going to click expand preview by default and I'm going to click done. Link options, preview in line, done, and I'm going to save. Now let's go ahead and take a look from a student perspective, student view. As you can see, it looks exactly the same, but in this case, when I click on it, the preview is inside my Canvas page. It's not an overlay. So this is my PDF. This is my PowerPoint. It's loading. And this is my Word document, which is also loading and it's taking a minute. So here the students have an option to click and have a preview or click and the preview is gone. So if you're having a multiple files, this might be a good option instead of an overlay. So when I click, the preview kind of pops up. And when I click again, the preview kind of minimizes. It's not defaulted. Now let's go ahead and take a look what happens when I click expand by default. Now let's leave the student view. Let me go back to edit. And now I'm going to click on link options here. I'm going to preview in line and I'm going to make sure I expand the preview by default and I'm going to click OK. Link options, preview in line, expand the preview by default. Link options, preview in line, expand by default and done. And now let me go ahead and save this. And now let me take a look from a student preview, a student view. And as you can see, I don't have to click to see the overlay. It automatically gives me the preview of what the file is. So this is my PDF scrolling all the way down. This is my PowerPoint. It's still downloading because it's 103 pages, right? This is all the table of contents, my entire PowerPoint presentation. And now when I scroll down, this is my Word document as well. So I have all the previews right here. Students do have an option to simply download this if needed. So the difference in the first one is the display, the preview is not displayed. The second one, the preview comes like an overlay. Students can just read through it and then decide if they wanna download. The third one is the preview automatically pops up so the students don't have to go ahead and click or use an extra click to take a look at what the file is. I hope you enjoyed this session. I hope you learned the difference between user documents, course documents inside your Canvas page and different ways of previewing your document. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe. And if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so because I know educators are always looking for tips and tricks while they're using the Canvas LMS. I will leave a link in the description box below for Microsoft Teams, technology and Canvas playlist. Do not forget to check them out and leave a comment in the comment section below if there's a Canvas trick that you want me to preview. Like always, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.